it's kind of lonely sitting in the bed all by myself. And normally my wife is right there. It's not the same without her. What's up guys, I'm on the Nerd and today we're going to talk about the Try Guys Try Cheating. So if you didn't know, Ned Farmer from Try Guys has recently left due to controversy about him cheating on his wife Ariel with one of their employees. So the whole thing's very messy so I thought we could go over Twitter statements and public posts posted by everyone involved and discuss the ethics of this situation. Okay, so let's get into this. So I'm going to start by reading the post released by the official Try Guys channel. Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys as a result of thorough internal review. We do not see a path forward together. We thank you for your support as we navigate this change. And if we go down to the comments, people are saying things like, I feel so sorry for Ariel. I respect the team for how they handled this. Very, like, happy, sort of supportive. That's obviously a very formal statement regarding this, which we can always appreciate. It's very well handled. And now if we go on to Ned's Twitter profile, it says official dad of the Try Guys, so guess dad's gone to get milk. Let's move on to his statement where he says, Family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. I'm sorry for any pain that my actions may have caused to the guys and the fans, but most of all to Ariel. The only thing that matters right now is my marriage and my children, and that is where I'm going to focus my attention. Now, this got a lot of replies. Now, compared to over on the Try Guys community page, this one seemed to have a lot more negative interaction for obvious reasons. People saying, boo, and then someone even replied with tomatoes are too soft, boo, with bricks, I'll try and put them all here. And then someone said, nah, your marriage is over, you don't get to fix it after what you did, Ariel deserves so much better than you. People defending him slightly, saying, I mean, that's not up to you, if they want to work it out, they can, which is fair enough. And then some people are actually getting into what my main issue with this is, which is okay, but weren't you technically her boss? So the person that cheated on his wife Ariel with was actually one of the employees of the Try Guys brand, which obviously adds an interesting power dynamic, which could make it a bit more iffy. Not much has come out about this, but generally workplace romances are very frowned upon, and this is where it gets messy. The person that cheated on his wife with is actually engaged herself. Alright, so next up we get on to Ned's wife's statement, which she posted to her Instagram. Thanks to everyone who has reached out to me. It means a lot. Nothing is more important to me and Ned than our family. And all we request right now is that you respect our privacy for the sake of our children. So they have two children together. Uh, two, they are both very young, toddler age. And that is a big question people have. Dude. You have children, you have a wife, that's, since he started this channel, that has been his whole persona. They all sort of have characters, they play a bit more. So, I want to know what you guys think about this, honestly. And I'm just curious, like, how do you guys feel about it? Would you personally get back with someone who cheated on you? Do you think employee and boss relationships are wrong? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.